What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're having a wonderful good Friday so far. Hopefully you're going to have an incredible weekend. Now I want to bring you some of the news that we're hearing just from this afternoon, which some of this is actually really good and some is rather upsetting. So I want to bring you all these updates right now. But let's start off with the good news and then I'll get into the bad news and then I'll come back to some good news. The good news as of right now is that millions of Americans are already receiving their $1,400 stimulus checks in their bank accounts. I've been seeing countless comments down in the comment section that yes, I received my $1,400 today. I can actually access it. That is great. I'm also seeing a handful of comments that are, yes, I received my $1,400. However, it is pending until April 7th. Again, even though the payment is pending, that's nothing to worry about because that is on the bank. The bank is just saying, okay, we have this, we have this order to, uh, for money that's coming in, but we don't actually have the funds yet. So we have to wait until, until Wednesday, which when they can pretty much unlock the funds for you. So they're just telling you, they're not going to give you early access to the money. They're going to wait until they have it in their hand and then they will let you use it. So that is still good news because as, as uh, we kind of heard earlier, and I mentioned earlier, and I also mentioned yesterday as well, the IRS is going to be sending out millions of payments to people just this week, and you could potentially see the stimulus checks hitting your bank accounts as early as this weekend. But even better news that they came out a little bit early, one day early on Friday, and you can actually see them today. So that's what we know regarding the IRS. Um, so that is good news if you have received your $1,400 stimulus check, Go ahead, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, I'm glad that you've got it. Hopefully that will not be the last of the stimulus that we receive. And I'll address that in a minute because there is another push for a fourth stimulus check and I'll address who this is. And this person actually has a major poll within the Senate. So uh, we'll address that in just a second. Let me get to some bad news. You may have already seen the stories. Uh, it was headline news earlier on today is a person rammed their car into two Capitol Police officers earlier on today. What happened was this person ended up killing one of the police officers and then the suspect who was driving the car uh, ended up getting shot and he was killed as well. So Congress is currently away on recess so this didn't really, even though the Capitol building was under lockdown, it really didn't impact many people because there is very few people in the building. However, it is still something that is troubling and there is investigations looking into not only this, but still looking into the January, um, January 6th Capitol riot. So the Capitol building riot. So that's something that we need to keep in mind is that this, this investigation is ongoing and we are still seeing that yes, even though the, the barricade came down, there's, all, there's already talks after this happened today that no we need to put the barricade back up and this is this is one building that should not be accessed or even anywhere remotely close to the building uh by the public so we'll see what happens there my heart does go out to the families that did lose a loved one today um so that is very sad but you know this the, we, we keep hearing news stories like this every single day there's something and uh it's, it's troubling but let's get back into some better news for the day uh, because I know right now there's there's a lot of good news out there, but there is some bad news. But if you could do me a favor, go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up button, that like button, because it really does help out the channel. Now, here's what the IRS actually said earlier on today. They said that they issued in the last batch of stimulus checks, they issued about 4 million checks. I thought this was a typo. I honestly thought this was a typo. How could the IRS, who's who at this point is saying that they've sent out about 130 million checks, but yet they need to send out about 160 million. How could the IRS send out 4 million checks and they're happy with that? I, I think that, now this still wasn't a typo. This is exactly what they said. But uh, right now they're stating that not only are they trying to work on getting more batches out, and the hard part is that these are paper checks, these are prepaid debit cards, and then they actually have to personally go in and see to make sure that their accounting information for whoever, uh, forever, whatever, um, social security recipient, uh, you know, veteran, anything like that, that they have the right uh, bank account information or right mailing address. So it's taking a lot more time. So that is the reason why there's only 4 million that went out as opposed to when direct deposit hit, 
we saw about 50 to 90 million stimulus checks go out uh, very quickly. So that's kind of disturbing there, but I understand why it is such a slow process. The IRS also stated that veterans who did not file um, a tax return and don't file, don't need to, or didn't actually fill out the, the, the non-filer tool when it was available, the issue with those is that we will most likely have to wait possibly till the end of April, maybe sometime into May before these stimulus checks for veterans start hitting bank accounts. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up, because this is, this is troubling to me, I think this is uh, rather disturbing because these are veterans who have fought for our country, um, who's, who have kept us safe. And these are the people that should be getting a stimulus check early on. These are people that we should be uh, supporting 100%. And I hope that if being that Congress is away on recess, my hope is that President Biden will do something and get the IRS to to quickly get these stimulus checks out because veterans, as we know, they aren't taken care of as well as they should be. And so I think this is something and let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about veterans. If if you think they should be up, up there on the priority list, because honestly, I think they should be. I honestly do. You know, these are people that fought for our country and gave us the security that we have today. So they should be rewarded in some way. And, and having them wait possibly a month or two months to get a stimulus check just isn't right. It's just not fair. Now, the IRS also says that they're going to continue to send out more batches of checks over the next couple of weeks. We know some people will be getting their stimulus check. Uh, it will not be pending anymore after April 7th. However, the, the IRS is stating that we could see stimulus checks going out on April uh, 14th as well. This will be through direct deposit and through direct express cards as well. So that's kind of what we're hearing there. But while we talk about stimulus, I want to bring you a story that uh, I thought was interesting because this is somebody that has a lot of pull in the Senate and he is now talking about, yes, that we could potentially be pushing through another bill. And if we do push it through without any Republican support, we might as well throw in another direct payment. And who is this mystery person? Well, this mystery person is none other than Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. And I told you this person has a lot of pull. What he decides to put on the floor in the Senate, it goes to the floor in the Senate. He has the power to do pretty much everything in the Senate. So here's what we know. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is saying that he is working on a few ideas to pass multiple bills under the budget reconciliation process. Here's what we know. We were first told before the $1.9 trillion stimulus package was passed, or even before it was presented, that Democrats have three budget reconciliations per year. Okay, they, Then they break it up in, into very specific ways. But here's what we know. As of right now, according to the recent reports, is the, the, the Democrats end up using two of those budget reconciliations in the previous bill. So they, they actually can't do three uh, for 2021. They can actually only do two according to recent reports. And if this is the case, here's the problem. Senator Schumer is gonna have to go to the Senate parliamentarian. There is a loophole somewhere within the law. I don't know the exact details. I'll find that out and bring that to you. But honestly, I don't think it really matters. But there is a, a loophole somewhere in the bill that in the past, there was a previous um, administration that actually was able to push through a bill through a budget reconciliation by getting an additional one. And it all has to do with getting the Senate parliamentarian on board. So it all comes down to the Senate parliamentarian. If she decides that yes, she will grant the Democratic Party one additional budget reconciliation. If this is the case, then Senator Schumer is saying that he could see if Democrats have uh, you know, two more budget reconciliations left that he could see that if they're going to just ram it down uh, or just pretty much, you know, push it through and almost ram it down Republicans throats, then that's not his exact words. But if they are able to just push it through, then there wouldn't be an issue with adding an additional, uh, you know, direct payment to the American people. And so that's kind of where he's at is he's saying that, uh, by, by splitting up the infrastructure bill into two parts, it actually makes it somewhat difficult. However, it will mean that one bill must get bipartisanship with Republicans. But if he can get an additional uh, one budget reconciliation, that gives them two more, and then they can split up the bill. They don't need any Republican support, which means he is saying he can uh, pretty much get the Senate parliamentarian on board 
which means then yes, we could potentially see another stimulus check and it would have very little issues with getting passed. The problem though, and this is the problem, this is according to a few other reports after he stated this, is that if there's only one budget reconciliation, one bill, even though theoretically, yes, you can put in a, a stimulus check into that bill and chances are it could be passed, it might be pulled out, but the issue is there's moderates within the Senate. This is Joe Manchin, Kirsten Cinema. Joe Manchin is one of those people that as of right now, he's not on board with an additional stimulus check simply because, and, and again, this is just right now, simply because one just passed and the money's still going out, we're still seeing the, the, the benefits behind this. So what we're hearing is we need to see two additional budget reconciliations, not one. If we see two, the likelihood of a, of a fourth stimulus check is going to go up. But this also means that if Democrats cannot get another budget reconciliation, they will have to either pass this two-part bill as one bill or get bipartisan support from Republicans. And as we know, Mitch McConnell has already stated that he will do everything in his power um, to pretty much slow this down and to prevent it from getting passed. So right now, Mitch McConnell is going to stand in the way no matter what. Um, whether that's good or bad, I guess it really depends on what's in the bill and what you're in favor of. But uh, that's kind of what we know. But if, okay, if Democrats can get another budget reconciliation, then what we know is that the $2.25 trillion infrastructure bill is going to be uh, much harder to pass if they can't get this. And they say this because progressives right now are going to demand an additional stimulus check, okay, an additional stimulus check. Did they wanna pass the ABC Act, which technically it was a, a bill that was proposed in 2020. And even though I think it's a has a lot of potential, I don't think this is going to get passed in 2021. I just have a, a very strong feeling that there's no way this can get passed with how the Senate is currently made up because the Senate is split 50-50. Joe Manchin is not going to support a $2,000 per month stimulus check to every single American simply because he didn't support the $1,400 that went to a handful of Americans, yet it did go to some that earned you know, very high incomes. And he was not uh, you know, for that. So what we know right now is some are saying that the ABC Act needs to be reworked and uh, retooled to fit the current economic situation. They also say that chances are this will mean it will go to a lower amount, possibly $1,000 per month instead of two. However, most people do not expect to see a monthly recurring stimulus check in the next bill because once it reaches the Senate, chances are it will just be stripped out. According to one report, they are saying that uh, Ed Markey, okay, Ed Markey wants to see a, an $11 trillion infrastructure bill. But according to another report, they are saying that the ABC Act providing $2,000 per month to every single eligible American could see a $10 trillion price tag. So this is one of the reasons why this is not something that's going to pass. This is too expensive. And the ABC Act stipulates that the $2,000 per month will go out every single month as long as we're within this pandemic. Well, experts currently do not see an end in sight to this pandemic. Health experts don't feel like calling it the end anytime soon. So when will this end? We don't know. If this were to go on for, let's say, three years, we're in a pandemic, and let's say we're in it, we're already in it one year, so we've got an additional two years, so 24 months times $2,000 per month times however many millions of Americans are going to get this check, this could go from a $10 trillion stimulus, or stimulus check, stimulus package, this thing could balloon up. This thing could easily get 20 trillion, 30 trillion. Who knows? Maybe it reaches 50. I have no idea. The math behind this is just insane. But this is one of the reasons why having an open-ended bill like this, that is $2,000 per month for the life of the pandemic, is seen as a, an impossible bill to pass at this point. Again, and it all comes down to how, the, the, how Congress is made up. The House can only lose three votes. If they lose four votes, it's a tie and it actually means the bill doesn't pass. If the Senate loses one vote from Democrats, the bill will not pass. So right now, the way the House and Senate are currently made up, 
makes this an impossible bill to pass. But this also is going back to the infrastructure bill. Some are saying that no, the way it is currently written, the way the, the framework is laid out, this is too expensive for some. This is not enough for others. Progressives say, no, we need to modify this. Some say, no, we need to just adjust the figures. We need to provide more infrastructure spending early on as opposed to later on uh, in the, the eight to 10 year process. So right now it is difficult to determine how likely anything is to pass right now. But what I can tell you is the discussions are ongoing. But as I know more, I promise I'll come back and share more. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.